five. This uh, is your maths video for this week. This week you're going to be learning how to add and subtract decimals. So I'm just going to go through a few examples for you. So we're going to do an addition with decimals, a subtraction with decimals, and a bit of like a word problem with a triangle to see if we can find the perimeter. Okay, so let's start with the steps to success. So what you need to do is you need to put the correct digit in the correct place value column. You need to start adding and subtracting by starting at the smallest place value heading. I'll explain what that means in a minute. You always keep the decimal point in the same place, which is what we've told you all year. So you should be a pro at this by now. And then you need to exchange or carry if needed. Okay, so we're going to start off with an addition um, equation. And so you can see we've got 23.3 and 55.6. Okay, so how we set this out is um, really key. So you need to set it out right and then it'll be easy to add together. Okay, so first of all, we need to start with the tenths. So we've got our tenths column, our ones, our tens, and our hundreds column. So start with our tenths column. We um, put the correct digit in the correct place value. So we put our tenths. We've got three tenths. Make sure you put your decimal place in. Our three and our um, 20. So 23.3 is in the right column now. Okay, so we now need to add the 55.6. So again, six. We've got six tenths. Decimal place always goes in, and we've got our 5 and we've got our 50. So we've got 23.3 at 55.6, and you can see that that is in, they're all in the right columns, and the decimal places are in the right columns. So you shouldn't get confused when adding. This is the easy bit, you know how to do this. So 6 tenths at 3 tenths is 9 tenths. Decimal place in, again, remember always a decimal place. 5 add 3 is 8, and 5 add 2 is 7. So our answer is 78.9. That's a nice, easy addition to start you off. Now I'm going to do a subtraction. So our subtraction equation, exactly the same again. But remember, with a subtraction, you always need to take away the um, second number from the first number. Uh, second number from the first number so you can take away the smallest number from the biggest number in this case so you can't mix them around like in addition you can just swap the numbers around and you can add them in any way you want but with a subtraction you need to make sure that your smallest number in this case is taken away or subtracted from your biggest number so we need to put our biggest number down first again using our rules so put the correct digit in the correct place value column so let's put our tenths in first we've got our Five tenths here, add your decimal place in, or do you remember to do that? Your four, and then your 50. So 54.5, okay, and you need to subtract 43.1. So we've got our tenths, which is our one tenths, add your decimal place in again, three, and then 40. So 43.1. Let's subtract that. So five tenths take away one tenth is four tenths. Add your decimal place in, don't forget that. Four, four take away three is one. And 50 take away 40 is 10. So you've got 11.4. So that's how you do sub sub subtraction. So make sure, remember, you're taking away your smallest number from your biggest number. Don't swap those numbers around. Okay, now we are going to do a bit of a, a word problem. Okay, so we've got a triangle here. Let me just stick it on door. We've got a triangle here and this triangle, we need to find the perimeter of the triangle. So we've got uh, this side is 4.4 centimetres, this side is 8.5 centimetres and this side at the bottom is 10.2 centimetres. So what do you think we need to do to find the perimeter of this shape or how do we work out this calculation? Okay, so we need to add them all together because when we find the perimeter of a shape, we need to find the whole outside of the shape, like how much the whole of the outside of the shape adds up to, don't we? So we've got these three digits. So what we need to do is we're going to add them all together by doing exactly the same method as before, okay? But this time we've got three numbers to add together. So you need to make three columns and it gets a bit tricky because this time you're going to have to do some exchanging and some carrying. So let's do our first step again, put the correct digit in the correct place value column. And remember, because this is, this is an addition, they don't have to be in exactly the same place. They can, um, you can just add whichever 
number in what whatever order so if you do it a different way to me if you add 10.2 add 5.8.5 add 4.4 that's absolutely fine because they're, they're, they're you're adding them okay so we're going to start with 4.4 so you've got four tenths here you've got your decimal place and you've got four then you need to add your 8.5 so you've got five tenths here decimal place and your eight then you've got 10.2 so you've got two tenths here decimal place and then zero ones four you've got one whole ten so you've got ten point two um so we're going to add those together so first of all we add our tenths column so if i add four is nine and then add the two is eleven so you've got your one here and you need to carry your one down here you rarely your decimal place put your one down here like you'd normally do okay with an addition then you need to add your eight and your four, which is 12. Okay, but you need to make sure you've got your, um, adding your extra one at the bottom, so that makes 13. Put your three here, and your one at the bottom. Make sure you cross that off to show that you've added that on. Okay, so you've got one 10 here, one down at the bottom, so that makes two. You've got 23, so it makes 20, and then you cross that off to say, make sure you've added it on. So your answer is 23.1, but you need to make sure that um, you add your centimetres on, okay? So you need to add your units of measure. So the answer is 23.1 centimetres. Okay, I hope that helps. And um, you will be learning about this in class if you're in school or at home if you're at home. And I hope this example helped you. Thank you, bye.